This is a 433 megahertz wireless uh, light bulb adapter. So I have this key fob here. Press the button once, turns on. Press the button again, turns off. So you can see the spectrum in the background on STR Sharp. Press the button. It's all about 433 megahertz. So let's copy it using RPI TX. So let's go to RTL FM, set it to AM mode, and set the frequency correctly and the bandwidth. Um, set it to wave output mode, and use SOX to write a WAV file at 48K. So I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to press the button, and then stop it. Pressing the button, stopping it. Okay, now we need to normalize it using SOX dash dash norm equals zero light dot oops light dot wave light normalized dot wave There it is. Um, now we need to use pi am to change this normalized file into an RFA file. So I'll call that lights.rfa. Press enter. Okay, now we can use um, rpi tx to transmit that RFA, RFA file at the same frequency. There it goes. So let's do it again. On. Off. On. Off. And it's all transmitted with um, RPI TX. Just a wire coming out of one of the GPIO ports of the Raspberry Pi. Testing another device, um, one of these wireless doorbells or door alarms. Got the key fob here, and I've recorded um, the bell, the ding dong bell, already on RPI TX. So there you can see I've got bell.rfa. Gonna press it now. Let's do it again. There you go. Another device, one of these cheap uh, 12 volt relays, um, also wirelessly controlled at 433 MHz. So again, and I've already recorded it into RPI TX, uh, relay on dot RFA. So I click it. Press the button. Testing one last device, one of these um, AC wirelessly controlled uh, adapters. So again, this one's got two, it's got uh, an on and an off button. And I've connected it up to just a lamp. And again, I've already recorded it into RPI TX. So let's see here AC on. Yep. And AC off. Let's change that. Again, AC on, on, yep, AC off, oops, AC off, so it seems like it's possible to use RPI TX as a simple, um, simple means to do replay attacks or for, uh, for home automation control.
Thanks for watching. So of course the next thing to do would be to build a filter for uh, the output of RPyTX. Um, RPyTX doesn't have a very clean output, it has a lot of harmonics. So if you were to ever use more than just a simple wire antenna, um, then you'd probably want to use a, a 433 megahertz bandpass filter to clean up the signal to make sure that you don't interfere with anything else. Um, right now, with just this wire, the range of the uh, transmission is pretty much restricted to this room only, so I don't see it um, interfering with anything else. But if you were to put on a bigger antenna or um, or add a preamplifier or uh, something like that, then you definitely need a filter.